Glad to see you. Helpful <laughs> hubby here. Barnes Basement Treasure. We got a couple other items that we got over the weekend that missed the other videos or missed the future videos, however they come up. <laughs> um, my wife was trying to figure out how I saw them in the box they were in <laughs> because these edges were shooting up and I went through the box of DVDs to see what was in there. Um, never know when you can find some good DVD, so you, even to keep for yourself. Mm. So the first one is called Super Monkey Ball 2. It is not in its original case, but it is in a case. It looks pretty good. We'll probably buffer it just to... I'm not going to take it out. I had it out once. Mm -hmm. There. You know, it doesn't need a buffering, maybe a sanding. But it should work perfectly without doing anything. Uh, seen a lot of high sales on this. Pre-owned ones. Going from $35 up to one went for 70 something like a month ago so it's so what was the disc only pricing the disc only i think went from 35 to mm. mid 50s yeah so it's got value even without all the case and stuff yeah so that is definitely one yeah and the nice thing is gamecube stuff there's a lot of systems that we have that we can test. GameCube is one, because that's one I bought when I was in my 20s, I think. Even though it's not hooked up right now, we're able to test it because we have a Wii. And it's old enough where it allows people to still play the GameCube games in it. Yep. Um, and they went to the Wii Slims and some of the later... Ones of the original Fat Wii's, um, you didn't have that ability. Hmm. It's just like with the Wii U. You can play a Wii disc in it, but you can't do a GameCube <coughs> disc in it. Um, mainly, the only thing about the, the Wii U is that you don't need a TV because the main handheld has a little screen. Hmm. The other one is called Mega Man Network Transmission. Um, not exactly sure what it's all about, but this has a lot of high comps also. Um, I think one was listed brand new. We don't have that one, but it was like 200 and something dollars that it sold for. Um, Virus Busters, beware. Yeah, so we will have to test this one. My son, or our son, wants to test both of these games. <laughs> but we already told him he's not to keep the games that we're testing this time. You know. That's going to be hard with Mega Man because he, he uh, was really stuck on that one. A, a different, another version of it, one of the newer ones. And then he gets into this thing where he 